All right, here we go. Next example in graph, a nice little cosine. So again, we're going to do the same stuff we've been doing every single time. I'm going to find my amplitude first. Amplitude is the absolute value of a. a is the coefficient of your trig function. In this case, negative one half. So we'll be at negative or one half. Find your period. You're going to take two pi and divide it by b. So two pi. B in this case is x's coefficient, which is pi. So we're going to period of two. Uh, determine our phase shift, again, 0 is less than or equal to pi x minus pi fours. So a couple things are going to happen to our graph. Not only is it going to be shifted right pi halves, but we're also going to basically um, have an effect to the horizontal length of our graph. So we'll see what effect that has in here in just one second. Uh, as you can see, what it's really going to do is kind of decrease it, but we'll look at it. Uh, when I do that, I'll get pi fours. It's less than or equal to pi x. It's less than or equal to, this is going to be 8 fourths, so add 1 to it and you'll be at 9 pi fourths. And lastly, we're going to divide by pi or multiply by the reciprocal, since we have some fractions. Oh, here are some things we'll cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. So what we're going to be left with is 1 fourth is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 9 force. Okay, uh, since we're doing this, again, the the uh, period should be in between those two, which I think it's 8 force, which is two holes. Uh, the only thing we have left to figure out is our divisions. So we'll take our period of 2 and divide it by this. So it's either going to be 2 force, simplified it'll be 1 half. So we'll see if we can't look at the graph. So again, we're going to start with, what was it, 1 fourth? Yeah, 1 fourth. And we're going to add 2 fourths to it. So this will be 3 fourths, 5 fourths, 7 fourths, and then, of course, 9 fourths. OK. Uh, now we're going to do is we're trying to graph our function. To be able to graph it, we're going to go back and look and see your amplitude is 1 half. Uh, so that's going to affect our graph. It is a negative cosine. So when you look at the pattern, negative cosine, uh, we're going to go minimum, zero, maximum, zero, minimum. Now, normally our minimum, maximum are one, but again, that gets multiplied by whatever a is. So we'll start at a negative one half. So negative one half, zero, this is one, we're maximum value of one half. So our graph will look something like, whoops, I missed it. Let me try again. Again, it is a wave function, so that pattern is going to continue to repeat, and it looks a little something like that. So there's a graph of a negative cosine. 